to go beyond. To go beyond time and space. To find your face among many voices and still staying true. Intimate, the intimate minute where you don't know what to say sometimes or why you are. To transcend and mend all the existential thoughts Hear the noises, all the noises in the silence, the silences that you love, the noises that you love, and all the things that you hear, and stare and go without peer, without a peer, without a pair, you stare and sometimes you find yourself on foreign land continually, continually on foreign land, interrupted and disrupted by people who shouldn't even be regarded as family, shouldn't even be listened to, and yet the corrupted spirit, the corrupted soul, finally feels cleansed within a house within a home you could say mentally speaking sometimes you find yourself sane, alive, awake never alone this were a soliloquy or a poem, a sigh to just be intimate, it can, has to be more, it has to be more than just saying something informally that you would normally say to someone at night time. And you say, what shall I say? What lines? What lines shall I say? What words? Well, you finally realize that this is the genuine me, the true me. The genuine eyes, the true eyes, the true voice. What is the true voice? All those guessing games, all those names that I never suit. And just be yourself, just be yourself. You show yourself your most intimate self. never lies. There's the old saying they say, the camera never lies. The camera, the projected image, the projected images. It's good to be back again in the subtropics where all the topics seem to change, to not be relevant because the time is sometimes not linear in the mind of someone who thinks in a different way, an abstract way, you could say, and then you could go and you could flow. Sometimes your personality does change or it just slowly feels different at a particular time. and place. You can expand upon your horizons and find all of those divided quarters, halves, the sphere I said, the sphere of no fear and to be repetitious, repetitious. The sphere within your own mind
the sphere within your own mind. Sometimes you shake it and the glands expand and you say it's more grand than I thought and finally starts to make sense and you sense it was always like this and then you say what did that actually mean when I actually thought of the kindness that I overlooked and still sometimes do. But you know, sometimes I always knew. I saw the secrets and the secrets of all different people and still do. And you don't say anything because you're a gentleman, a gentle person, a gentle man. Forgive me, you could say, for not being surreal. I'll just be my real self in the most bland, soothing way where I can make myself fall asleep at night. This is what I would call my own aside I have as I would lie back at night speaking to myself while others seem to yell and scream or have an opinion like onions, opinions are like onions. Some are bitter, filled with tears. And then you have the others, the others that say, and sound very sweet. You realize when it sounds bitter at first and then you listen, you listen. And you listen more and you realize it's almost mixed up. I didn't really hear it right. I didn't taste it right. I didn't taste the thought. And yet I caught it. I caught it all. I caught it all. 